Now this area is the beach, and I wanted to make it kind of a hot springs beach resort. So at the front here, we have a restaurant. I guess it's a seafood restaurant, you can see. So you can go in through here. Unfortunately, you can't interact with this other than climbing it, I guess. And place some palm plants in the front. These fences, unfortunately, I can't make it extend all the way to the wall. It would it would be nice if I could have, but I extended them as far as I could. So this is actually the main entrance, but you can go through that restaurant theoretically. And it leads into this beach area that you could theoretically go out the back of the restaurant, have some outdoor seating right next to the beach. We have kites that you might want to fly while hanging out at the beach because it's usually pretty windy. But the main feature of this beach resort area are three hot springs that I made. So we'll start with the top one here, which is kind of the VIP hot springs. It's more private than the others. It's the highest one. It has a nice view of the beach. You can see the moon, of course. And you even have a little snowman you can play with, with the magic snowman, because he doesn't melt in the hot spring. Now, this theoretically doesn't connect to any other part this way, but you can just hop over, which brings us to this other hot spring. This is the mid-level one, which the actual entrance you'd want to go through, starting back here, would be here. Also a little... Um, Japanese water thingy. I don't know what those things are called, but it goes in through here and Have a little hot springs here. This one you have some alcoholic drinks right here So well, you can enjoy that you can sit here see the moon pretty well, right? So this one's also a pretty nice Upper one with a nice view you can see the beach if you really want and it connects this way to a sitting area where again you can see the moon Enjoy some food and chill. So that's like the uh, mid-level one. And this is the low-level one. This one, you have uh, some glowing plants growing just for atmosphere. The view's not as great, but it's a little more private, I guess, in a way. Although you can be seen from above and everything, but it's kind of secluded. So that's the cheapest one. That's the uh, economy package one. And then out here, we have the actual beach area with parasols where you can hang out. And now, I ran into load limits, so I couldn't place anything more, really. It would have been nice to place some seats or something, but I wanted to just set these up. Now, normally these things are... You can actually see there's a whole other table underneath them. The way I accomplish this is by sinking these objects, which is a technique that was developed, well, it's been a few months now because the teapot hasn't been accessible. Also, this is probably Yoimiya's favorite place because you've got lots of fireworks to play around with. But yeah, by sinking these just a little bit, you create this effect. Ah, you can see the top half of these tables here. And this one, you can see it's a little more sunk, sunk. You can create this effect where it's as if, let's say, you can place a towel here and chill while you have these teapots here to drink stuff and enjoy. Yeah, but that's basically the beach area. We also have an outdoor kind of shop area. This one's also sunk a little bit. I, I thought having lots of parasols and... Uh, and and such made a lot of sense but th the idea here is this an outdoor shop where you can uh, buy hot dogs or something i don't know what do they eat at the beaches in japan anyway not hot dogs i'm sure sushi uh rice balls something like that 